So here's a ciliate. This video is mostly about ciliates, but it has two unicellular organisms featured. Um, you can see this moving around next to a paramecium, but I am talking about the large one that looks sort of like a box with cilia coming off. I don't know what this is. When I first saw it, I thought it was didinium or monodidinium. But that's obviously incorrect because when I looked at it closer, it does not have that sort of proboscis with the cilia on it. There's a lot of footage of this squirming around because I did not know what it was, so I needed to have something to identify it by. And there's a lot of paramecia here. You can see them in dark field quite well. That one has been caught in all of this um, dirt. It's been trapped. Here it is um, with my 40 times objective, and you can see its cilia still beating. It's stuck inside this small pocket of water. Sadly, you cannot see its contractile vacuole from this angle. It's blocked. But you can still see some of the details in it very well. You can see a bunch of dots, which I think are part of a pigmentation. And here's a lot more paramecia. But if you look down here, this is two cells undergoing mitosis, or two cells dividing. I believe these are two euplotes. At least I thought these were dividing. I don't think they're fusing nuclei. I doubt they'd be doing that. But in a way, it does look like they've already been separated, so I think it's mitosis, but I may be wrong on this one. You can see them pressing up against each other. It looks like they're doing it with force, so they may actually be fusing nuclei rather than um, turning a nucleus into two nuclei, like mitosis. There's a bunch of ciliates swarming around here. And there's a paramecium sliding by. Down at that corner in here was a blue thing. I was not sure what this was, and I think I meant to cut that out. This area was getting pressed up against by air, so it formed all of these odd shapes. Also, please stay to the end of the video or skip there if you want to because I got some footage of a nematode and a cyclops napulis, which might be more entertaining than some of the ciliates that I'm going to be following. And here is another paramecium. And more paramecia. This slide was very numerous, numerous with paramecia, but 
here you can see two fakuses. I think they're from Fakus longicadia and a an organism next to it, which I I think is from Hypotrichia, but I don't know anything else about it. Here's another organism. I think it might be a Nasulid. There's a bunch of different spots of pigmentation inside it, and here it is in oblique illumination. It looks like a Nasulid. There was another on the slide besides this one, but you can see those small um, purple looking pigments inside of it and also some green and yellow pigmentation which is common for nasolids because they have different pigments and there's a little flagellate moving next to it this one was not actively moving its cilia were not going but you can tell it's a cilia because there are no flagella which means it's probably a nasolid And here is the wider picture. There's a little vignetting here. And here you can see the whole slide in oblique illumination and see the depth of some of that dirt. And there's another paramecium in oblique illumination. Here it is close up, what it looks like in paramecium. You can see all of the crevices and cilia lining its body. You can see all of those hairs that's the cilia. And you can also see a lot of bumps on it, which is also the cilia. And here is another nasolid, but this nasolid is actually moving around very slowly, though. These organisms are slower organisms, anyways. And it just went black for a second, but you can see the texture of it as I focus in and out. It's shaped sort of like a ball, it's pretty round. And it's being moved around by a bunch of flagella. Here it is in just normal bright field. It's trying to outmaneuver the dirt. And here is a bunch of small ciliates that were all jumping around. I don't know what these are. Again, they look like they're from Hypotrichia, but I have no idea what they are besides th that very open taxon. And here is the part I talked about in the middle of the video. Here is a long nematode worm. You can see it reaching out. This is not a sporostomum like the one sporostomum video I did. This is actually a multicellular organism and it is not a ciliate, it is a worm. I'm sure most people know what a nematode is though.
This is currently with the 10 times objective. And here is a Cyclops Napulus, like I also mentioned. This is from the family Cyclopidae, genus Cyclops, and it is the larv, larva of the Cyclops. If you want to learn more about that, you can watch some of my plankton videos. And here is slow motion footage of that ciliate from the very beginning, the mystery ciliate that I couldn't figure out. So I do not think this is from Rodifera, but maybe that cilia in that orientation could be a Rodifera's corona, which is the structure in which the cilia hang from. but I do not think that is the case since I can't spot any signs of multicellularity. You can see that those cilia beating very slowly here. This is 20% speed as you can see in the corner which means it's slowed down quite a bit. I still do not have any idea to the actual identification. It is probably from the order Hetrachicha, but anyways, goodbye.